rice flour good or bad for your health? With so many options available to fill our plates, choosing the most suitable food has become a tad bit challenging. In the old days, a simple meal of roti, sabzi, and dal would make up the contents of a well-balanced and elaborate meal. Nowadays, we think twice before putting any food in our mouth, worrying about its nutrition and health implications. With the advent of thousands of health-centric food products, we take a look at one such food product which has found its way into many kitchens, with many benefits to boost about. Hello friends! Before you start watching our video, don't forget to subscribe to us and press the bell icon beside the subscription button to get notified every time on YouTube. Rice flour versus wheat flour When it comes to nutritional value, both rice flour and wheat rice share a similar composition. Both contain minerals like thymine, riboflavin, niacin, and vitamin C. Wheat flour is richer than rice flour in folate, a B vitamin, which plays a role in making red and white blood cells in the bone marrow, as well as converting carbohydrates into energy. Rice flour has less yeast, which would require you to use more baking products while cooking with it. Health Benefits of Rice Flour the first benefit, of course, is that rice flour is gluten-free, making it safe for people with gluten allergies or celiac disease. Rice flour, especially the brown rice flour variety, is an excellent source of fiber, which not only improves digestive health, but has also shown to reduce cholesterol levels. Rice flour enhances liver health, as it contains choline, which transports cholesterol and triglycerides from the liver to where they are required in the body. Is it really good for you? Obviously, for what's good and what isn't is pretty subjective, for one man's food is another man's poison. Rice flour is ideal for people with gluten-related problems or for those who have digestive and bowel-related problems. However, wheat flour has its own set of benefits, which could make one consider using it over rice flour. So the answer is, it depends on the individual. One should opt for the flour that suits their body better, so listen to your body. Feel free to comment in the comment box if you have any questions, and if you liked our videos, then don't forget to give us a thumbs up.